I want to start by saying Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharashai, Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yahashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught me this doctrine of truth, its sincerity. Shalom unto the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means He is or He exists. Bashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be. Yahavashai, which means he's the deliverer, he's the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakakwadash, which means the Holy Spirit, just able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or other special bird looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahav, Ba'ashim, Yahavashai, then you could be one elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off falling after false gods and false idols, not following the law, century commitments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect. The ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures and would be able to understand prophecy, which is uh, the future events that would be upon the earth. OK, and one of them is what the mark of the beast. OK, that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man would roll out his uh, device. OK, to be able to uh, bring forth his new world order, his Nova Soda Sequorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill. OK. Uh, where they want a one world government, a one world religion, a one world military. And in that religion, they want to have a mark embedded inside your hand or your forehead to be able to control your buying and selling. OK, and this prophecy is on the horizon. OK, Elon Musk has already done um, his first um, you know, trial run far as openly. They, they're saying that they have done it. OK, and there's, there was complications. But again, it's been passed by the FDA, which is controlled by Esau Edom, the so-called white men of today. OK, um, and they're they're pushing um, a cashless society as far as the dollar bill going away. OK, and everything going into a central banking digital currency, OK, which will be uh, governed by a blockchain, which is going to be Esau Edom at the top. You know, Psalms 83, that crafty council. OK, the people that are meeting up in the Davos meetings. OK, and and. What are they meeting up for to be able to exchange uh, uh, thoughts on how they can be able to, um, you know, present this to the people? OK, and what they're going to do. And the time is now. OK, because we're at that time where World War Three is growing up. And the only way that those missiles can truly be uh, shot off is if the mark of the beast is implemented worldwide, because there is a judgment for taking the mark, which is something physical and better inside your hand or your forehead. OK, to be able to co what control your buying and selling. OK, and it's going to come a point where your livelihood, you know, your job, your your, uh, you know, cardinal resources are going to be um, without. OK, and if you don't have this spiritual um, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahabba Shema Shai, then you're going to get caught and left in the destruction. OK, so I'm going to start right here. So this is um, end time headline news. It says Elon Musk Neuralink prepares for a second human trial. OK, so they're preparing for their second human trial. Right. So this is the brain implant, which this is prophecy. Revelation uh, 13 and 16, where it speaks about metaphon. When you go into metaphon or when you go in socky, when you go into forehead, it goes into the Greek word metaphon. OK, which which when you go into that, it goes into your face. That's what you have. You have Apple vision. OK, you have pay with your face. OK, you have um, metaverse. OK, all these are, are, are devices, gradualism to um, the mark of the beast because they're presenting it as it's something that's uh, safe, you know, um, that can be able to help, you know, uh, people with, um, you know, uh, um, you know, ailments, infirmities and things like that. They can be able to walk or they can be able to see. So what they're offering is what what um, their pseudoscience. OK, and how they can be able to what. Um, uh, deceive the people, but they're not going to be able to deceive the very elect because the elect or the hopeful elect would understand um, prophecy and would understand uh, that the Lord is bringing this upon the earth, right? So Neuralink plans to implement, Sakya, to implant its device into second human patient. So right there, that word implant, okay, when you just look it up regular, just a regular Google, right? Lucky. Implant 
okay, implant, right? In a person's body, especially by what? Uh, surgery. So insert. So this is something physical to insert in your body, which would be um, a graving or a cutting into thy uh, flesh. Okay. A thing implanted into something else, especially a piece of tissue, a device or object implanted in the body. And that's exactly what uh, the mark is. Okay. It's something physical embedded inside your hand or your forehead. That's why you have Amazon Palm. These are all gradualism to the actual physical uh, mark. Okay. You have the, the, the debit card where, you know, people are using their phones to be able to pay or using their credit cards, you know, tap and go, these things like that. They're, they're um, putting in the minds, and, and they, I'm speaking about the wicked, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's putting in the minds that this is okay. So when it when it rolls out, people are just, just you know, all willy-nilly, you know, they're, they're okay with it, okay? But the, the hopeful elect are not, because we know what it is. Um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us, we're not ignorant of his devices, okay? And this is a wicked device, right? Because if you take it, there's no... Uh, repenting for it okay there's no taking it out there's no none of that okay that that is the end for you you will have no rest day nor night and you're going to get caught up in the icbm missiles that are going to be firing upon babylon the great that's why the lord has given uh this great wisdom the great mysteries to a service to prophets to be able to profess the truth okay not to be uh, followers of of you know um people of the world you know trying to be friends with everybody but to be, be friends with yahaba shemel Shai. And through that, being friends with Yahabah Shemel Ashai is the salvation. Okay? So it says, Neuralink plans to implant its device into a second human patient in about a week. According to the company's founder, Elon Musk, on social media platform X, right? And that X actually goes into um, Revelation 13, 18, the Chi Psi Sigma. Okay? When you go into that word, um, the Psi of it, okay, it goes back to the Greek. OK, and it goes. That's why they have X, you know, for for what Twitter. OK, you have the uh, disease X. You have these different things. Why? Because they are uh, you know, and when you go into that word that that X. OK, in the Greek, it goes into the Messiah. OK, the Messiah on what the left hand side, because they are proclaiming that they are the Messiah when they're just mere uh, humans. OK, they are the what the synagogue is saying. OK, they are the ungodly and they are coming what to deceive. The word devil means deceiver. Okay, the word Satan means adverse to what to the holy scriptures, and that's exactly what they're coming with. Okay, but again, the Lord has given us the the great wisdom to be able to know what it is, showing you that the Lord is a merciful power. Okay, it says on social media platform X, former Twitter, right? Elon shared on the company aims to have high signal single digits of patients with device by the end of the year. Okay. And so it's not just Elon Musk, it's Jeff Bezos, it's it's Gates, right? And it speaks about the gates of hell shall not prevail, okay? So it's all these um, top people, or so-called top people in this world, okay? They're all speaking about um, AI technology, artificial intelligence. What um, Carl Schwab was just over there in China, and he was speaking about how it would be great to have uh, brain implants, to be able to read uh, the brain waves, okay? To have telepathy. Because what does Esau Edom have? He has he has a God complex. He thinks he is the most high. Okay? And so that he's what professing that he is the most high. Right? Let me let me get a scripture actually. <clears throat> this is Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So the time is at hand when this would be rolled out. Okay, and it's in this time. Okay, so we're not supposed to hide. Um, the truth. Oh, we we know the truth. Now let, let's just hide it. No, we're supposed to let the congregation know. And okay, and the elect is going to follow the truth. Okay, and the rest are going to be blinded by the God of this world. Let's read this in the NLT. Then he instructed me, right, because John the Revelator is seeing the vision. Okay, on the island of Patmos, and really he's given, he's writing out the vision that was given to him for for this time, because we're in those times. Revelation 22 and 10. Then he instructed me, do not seal up the prophetic words in this book for the time is near. So you have people that are sealing up uh, the prophetic uh, things. They're not speaking about uh, the mark of the beast. And if they are, they're not saying that, that it's actually physical. That's why you have to have uh, the spiritual discernment to understand that it's physical. Okay. Right. So we're not supposed to seal it up. We're not supposed to hide, hide it from uh, the congregation. 
okay, and say everything's going to be all right. Because if you don't have this wisdom, then you're going to end up uh, falling for the trap, okay, which is the snare that Esau Edom has set, right? This is Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Right? It's like it. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High or that is worship, so that he is so he he has that power sit in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. So Esau Edom has power to, to he's been given power by Yahabah Shemashai on the left hand side to be able to bring forth iniquity, to be able to bring forth his new world order. So when the Lord comes, he can be able to uh, show uh, uh, his power by destroying the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction and to be able to honor the ones that stood stiffly for that name's sake. OK, which that name goes into the reputation and the reputation of Yahabah Shemashai and his doctrine, uh, OK, is living. OK, and it lives forever and it lives through what the children of Israel and particularly the elect. OK, because the elect have the mysteries, they have the insight. OK, because the Lord has given them the unction to know all things. OK, so who oppose and exalt himself above that is called the Mosai and that is worship. So that's how he, he presents himself. OK, the so-called white man, he presents himself that he is a God, you know, follow my ways. You know, here, take this um, what I got for you. OK, this is this is the right way. Meanwhile, it's actually um, deception because his job is to deceive the people. His job is not to uh, help you. So he oppose and exalt himself above above all that is called the Mosai or that is worshipped so that he is that power that sit in the temple of the Mosai showing himself that he is that power. OK, so he's trying to enter inside your temple with his philosophies. OK, his man on man, his woman on woman, his bestiality. Okay, his pedestry and now what is transhumanism, okay, and also what his false doctrine. Okay, so he's trying to enter into your temple with these different enchantments, right? Numbers 23 speaks about there is no enchantment, okay, on Israel, which is the Israel of the household of faith, the elect. They're not going to be enchanted or enticed by money, okay, or by the glitz and the glamour or by a 15 minute city. We're not going to be enamored a 501c3 contract. We're not going to be enamored by that by that uh, BS because we know that this place, America, is circling the drain. And anybody that's following the ways of this world is going to get caught up in the destruction of what Esau Eden's uh, kingdom, which is America today. Okay, and everywhere where he plants his uh, temple, far as his, his any type of power that he has is going to be destroyed. Okay, so first he wants to enter inside your temple, and we are the temple of the Lord. Okay. And so that goes into um, doctrine, okay? Because first he's, he enters inside the people's minds with his his money, okay? His money, his prestige, you know, look at me. I got a big church, you know, look at, I got a bunch of women. I got cars. Hey, look, we got chains over here. You know, Jake loves chains. You know, we got we got chains over here, okay? We got, um, you know, we got a uh, watch. You know, we got all the best stuff. Just, just follow us. And, and really what that's going to lead to is you being led to a ditch, OK, which is that pit uh, that's going to be on fire, which is those ICB missiles firing upon your head when because you trusted in um, a false uh, false prophet. Right. Or you trusted in Esau Edom. Right. So first Corinthians three and 16. Don't you realize that all of you are together are the temple of the Most High, and that the spirit of that power lives in you? OK, so the temple, OK, is not the temple of Yahweh Shema Shai is not profane. OK. Profane means outside the temple. That's what the, the ways of this world are. They're profane. They're outside the temple. Okay. And we are, our bodies are the temple. So we, whatever that we, you know, watching or, or putting inside of our bodies is, is, is basically who you're going to be. Because what are you spiritually eating? Are you spiritually eating off the, the plate that Yahabba Shema Shai is preparing through his men? Or are you eating off the, uh, the defiled plate of Esau Edom? Okay. It says, 1 Corinthians 3 and 17, our power will destroy anyone who destroys their temple. For our power's temple is holy, and you are the temple, okay? So holy, holy means separate, okay? It doesn't mean, so that goes into what? Not being worldly, okay? 1 Corinthians 6 and 16, okay? What know ye not that you which are joined to a harlot is one body, for two said he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto Yahrashai is one spirit. So we're supposed to be in one spirit. Okay.
Yeah. So, um, yeah, going into being a spiritual harlot. OK, playing the harlot by by worshiping these other gods, these false gods. Right. We read this again uh, from 15. First Corinthians 16 and 15. Don't you realize that your bodies are actual parts of the Messiah? So if you're part of the Messiah, OK, then um, uh, you then you wouldn't have false doctrine. OK, if you're part of them or part of the Messiah, then you would have the pure doctrine because the word is pure. It's not defiled. It's, there's nothing profane about it. OK, it's pure. Right. First Corinthians 6 and 15. Don't you realize that your bodies are actual parts of the Messiah? Should a man take his body, which is part of the Messiah, and join it to a prostitute? Never. OK, because going into what uh, playing the uh, the spiritual harlot. OK, you you know, you're saying uh, most high Christ blessed. That's playing the spiritual harlot because that's not how our Messiah looks. And that's not our Messiah's name. That's not the true Messiah's name. OK, that's an, that's another um, that's another uh, savior. OK, which is a false God. OK, which is going to lead to your destruction if you're following that. This is and don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her. For scriptures say the two are united in one. But the person who is joined to Yahweh Shai is one spirit with him. So we're in one spirit. OK, that's why brothers are speaking the same thing. OK, you can't have unity camps when people are teaching different doctrines. Only only uh, first Corinthians one and ten. OK, there be no divisions among you. So if you're saying. Uh, the mark of the beast is sin, and then and then the, the true men of the Lord, which are the head of Pasa, the great millstone, and the elders and the bishops that follow the sound doctrine, are saying it's something physical, and then we're showing it to you in the scriptures, um, you know, and bringing out information that that's going on to be able to 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 uh, make it clear, okay. And if you don't get it, then 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 it's just not for you, okay. It's just simple as that, right? And again, it's not for everybody. 2 Corinthians 6 and 16. And what agreement had thy temple with thy power with idols? And that's what the mark of the beast is. It's an idol or, or following the ways of this world. What agreement had thy temple with thy power with idols? So when you're when you have a 501c3 contract, what do you you're joined unto Esau Edom? That's an idol. Okay. That means that that's the reason, that's part of the reason why you're not teaching sound doctrine. What agreement had thy temple with thy power with idols? For you are the temple of thy living power, as our power has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be their power and they shall be my people. So how are you going to be the Lord's people, but you calling on another another savior or you you preaching another doctrine? OK, second <laughs> Corinthians six and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be separate, said Yahweh and touch not the unclean thing. I receive you and I will receive you. Yeah. Touch not the unclean thing. So once you see that that's wrong, the Lord shows you that's wrong, right? Okay, you're supposed to get away from that. And it doesn't matter if you've been around the person for five years, 10 years, 20 years. If that person's teaching false doctrine, you got to get away. It speaks about be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. Okay, 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? And what is the light? The truth. OK, so and it goes into also Matthew six and about twenty two. OK, you can't serve Yahweh and Mammon. You can't serve Yahweh by Hashem Shai in the riches of this world. You can't do it. OK, because that makes you unclean. OK, that makes you profane. That makes you like Esau outside the temple. OK. So going back to second. So this devil, you know, Esau Edom, he's you. He uses our own people also to deceive. OK, there's going to be more deceivers than there are true men of the Lord as far as the, the that are preaching, preaching for truth and sincerity. OK, it's all about the elect, all about the remnant. OK, second Thessalonians two and four in the NLT, he will exalt himself. So he's exalting himself that he is a God, the so-called white man. Right. And defy everything that people call God. Yeah, because um, and, and that's what he's doing, because what he's saying that the uh, man on man and woman on woman, that's good transformers changing of your plumbing that's good you know worshiping the so-called white man that's good okay uh, uh being involved in pedestry bestiality that's good okay and that it's that do is that well spirit so he's exalting so that he is a god follow me i got money okay i got i got i got your safety when he does it okay he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call god and every object of worship he will even sit in the temple of the most high claiming that he himself is the most high okay and that's what he's doing 
Hey, I got salvation. Hey, I got I got these devices. I got money. I got safety. Right. When he when he's actually deceiving the people. Right. It says Second Thessalonians two and eight. And then the wicked shall be revealed in whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So what's the spirit of the Lord's mouth? The true men of the Lord. OK, that are not going to bow down to the image of Baal that are telling you the truth. OK, Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even whom is the coming after the working of Satan. So the working of Satan, going into the word Satan, being adverse to what righteousness. OK, they would be coming. They would be adverse to the holy scriptures with all power, signs and lying wonders. And that's what Elon Musk has came with, because you have uh, the guy, um, I believe his name is Harborn or whatever, the, the, the first guy that had the, the brain implant, and basically he couldn't walk, okay? And now he's showing signs of, of you know, of growth, okay? That's that, that signs and lying wonders, okay? And so when you go into this word lying wonders, it goes into the Greek word uh, pseudos, let's get it. And these wonders are the different um, people being, you know, like they can't see now they can see or they, they couldn't talk. But now they can talk through the through the AI uh, technology. Strong's G 5579. Sudas. Sudas. OK, so a lie. OK, straight up lie. Right. The Greek 5579 conscious intentional falsehood. When you read Psalms 144, it speaks about their right hand being the right hand of falsehood. OK, they're coming with deception. OK, the uh, three in a broad sense. So in a broad sense, whatever it is, whatever that they're saying it is, is not what it seems to be. OK, whatever that Esau Edom is saying, what it is, hey, we're, we're trying to help. You know, this is it's safer. It's more convenient. OK, this is better. This is the new technology. And everybody's always looking for the new technology. That's why they'll have an iPhone. OK, and then one year later, the iPhone will come out again and they'll get it. They'll get it. They'll spend all that money. Meanwhile, they won't pay for their rent. OK, because people are so involved with the technology. OK, and they don't realize that the technology, if used right, far as, you know, brothers using the technology to be able to bring out videos and bring out information is good. Right. But but people use it for for other things, for deception. OK, and, and that's what Esau Edom is doing, because they roll out the metaverse, they roll out the Apple Vision and people just see it as a way to to, you know, be in a different place. But the thing is that you have to be present to be able to suffer okay you have to be present to be able to suffer so those that are not suffering um for you how about shema shai they're if you're not suffering right now then you're going to be suffering in the time of jacob's trouble or the hour of temptation okay in a broad sense whatever is not what it seems to be perverse impious deceitful precepts and that's what they're coming they're coming with an impious spirit which impious Okay, it means that um, they're they're showing lack of respect towards Yahweh Shemar Shai because they are saying that they are the Most High, okay, that they are gods when they're just mortal men, okay. So they're coming with deceitful uh, precepts, as far as they're saying that they're they are the Messiah, they are the children of Israel when they're not, okay. They are the synagogue, they are the um, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction, okay. So they're coming with their pseudoscience. Let's go back to this. It says he in several neuralink. Uh, executives discuss brain chips capabilities and future potentials such as treating paralysis and memory loss so that's what i was just speaking about um that's to the spirit you know um the pseudoscience because they're coming with their lying wonders okay that's why it speaks about this i quoted it but let's go back let's go to that psalms 144 in about eight psalms 144 and seven, send thy hand from above. What is that hand? You have a shy. Rid me and deliver me out of thy great waters. So the, the different militaries, Esau, Edom's uh, teeth, right? Um, his enchantments, right? From the hands of strange children. And these are strange children. When someone wants to put something inside your body so they can be able to know what you're saying, know what you're doing, how many times you, you had sex with your wife, you know, uh, what, what your kids are doing, how your kids are growing up. Okay, these are strange children. This is what they're doing. If you have a smart TV or you have a phone, they're listening into every type of conversation that's going on. How many times, again, how many times you with their wife? These are strange children. Now they want to have something embedded inside your hand or your forehead. Okay, and you can't buy or sell, even if you have money in your bank account, you can't buy or sell unless they say it's okay. Showing you that they are saying that they are the most high, right? 
Psalms 144 and 8, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. So what is vanity? Uh, lies, deception, okay? And that's what they're coming with, the deception. Nine, I will sing a new song, so that new is being refreshed. We're being refreshed of our identity. Unto thee, O power, unto a song string, an instrument of ten strings, I will sing praises unto thee. So ten goes into what? Perfection. All the prophecies being fulfilled. And one of those major prophecies is what? The mark of the beast. Okay? So going back to the article. And that's what the brothers are doing. We're singing the new song. Okay, praying that Yahweh Shemashah destroy Babylon the Great and destroy what the wicked and be able to save what the Lord's very elect. Okay, they also address improvements for future surgeries to prevent issues encountered during first impl implementation of American man uh, Nolan, yeah, Arbar, Nolan Arbar, right, must emphasize the long term goal is to reduce uh, the risk of polls, AI, fostering a closure. Sim, sim bias between human intelligence and digital intelligence. So again, what is that? Human intelligence and digital intelligence. So that's the merging of what? Man into robot. Okay. The, the mark embedded inside the hand or the forehead. Okay. That's what's going on. Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 16, he calls it all both small, great, rich and poor and free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands and their foreheads. So he calls it. OK, that word cause it goes into the Greek poeo, which means to form in the fashion. They're fashion the society where if you don't want to take the mark of the beast then you're going to be a, called extremist, you're going to be called a radicalist, a dissident and put into these different FEMA camps. So they're causing it. OK, they're cutting off all the all the cat, all the dollar bills. OK, they're cutting off all the, the paper dollar and they're making everything digital. Okay, if you're not going, if you're not digital, then you can't buy or sell. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're the richest guy or the poorest guy. If you want to be a part of, if, if you want to um, be able to eat or be able to drink or have shelter, you have to have that mark embedded inside your hand or your forehead. Okay, so to receive a mark. So this mark, right, is the Greek word karagma. Right, let's get this one first. Forehead, right? Strong's G, 3359, Metopon. Metopon. Okay, Metopon. What does it say right there? In the root word, entomology, the face. Meta, again, Apple Vision, Metaverse. What is it? On your face. Okay, Metopon in the Greek, 3359, the space between the eyes or the forehead. Again, the forehead, the face. So that's what you have rolling out. That's just the gradualism of it. Okay, but now they're saying they're doing the second thing with the brain implant. Okay, your face behind your eyes, right? To be able to um, again control what you're buying and selling, and then they're offer they're also offering what their pseudoscience, saying they have all these things, but they don't really know what it does because every every everybody has a different body. <laughs> Put it that way. Okay, everybody reacts different, right? So we're Karagma. Strong G fifty four eighty, Karagma, Karagma. But again, if you take this the the Karagma, okay which is something physical, a stamp imprinted mark, a mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand or is the badge of the followers of the anti-Messiah. So there's many, 1 John 2 and 18, there's many anti-Messiahs. There's many people that hate the Lord. You have Israelites that know that they're Israelites and, and um, they are they are saying that they are, um, that the mark of the beast is not physical. They are the anti-Messiah. Okay, a mark branded upon horses. Yeah, so just like you have cattle and things like that, and you have the different branding. They want to brand the people, but they want it inside their hand or their forehead. They don't want where people can be able to take it off and things like that, okay? Things carved, sculpture, grave, and work. So when you read Acts 17, okay, and about, I believe it's 30, where it speaks about uh, graven, okay, it goes back to this word karagma, okay? Going into what the, uh, the actual physical um, en engraving, okay, adulterous image. So if you take it, Okay, you would be an adulterous image, means that you would be what profane, you would be outside the temple, you wouldn't be one of the elect. Okay. So a graven mark, a badge of servitude. So you would be a badge of servitude to who you serve. Okay, and you would be serving what Esau Edom, okay, which his his kingdom is is uh all about deception and it's gonna be destroyed. So the the Karaks, the Greek 5482. Right, a pail or a stake. So that's what they would use, a syringe to be able to put the mark inside the people's hands or in their foreheads. Okay. 
So the root word of that, the grapho, okay, 1125, which is the actual information, okay, information, the information that they would have, okay, so you could be able to buy and sell. If you're saying uh, pleasing words to uh, uh, the government, then you're going to be able to do more things in society, okay, but if you're speaking this truth, okay, you're going to be a, a dissident, you're going to be an outcast, okay, and we already are. So and even even amongst Israel, because not everybody's uh, uh, has this correct prophecy, right? To write with reference to formal letters. So we see everything is going what digital, okay? Why is that? Because again, knowledge has increased, and now what? Because you always had the the branding that goes back to I believe Egypt, okay? You had the branding, but now knowledge has increased, and now you have the actual physical mark, okay? Embedded inside the people's hands and the foreheads, which is what 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 Neuralink is pushing, okay? Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, so if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So when you go to this word buy, right, it goes into the word agora, okay, in the Greek, or agora, right? So you go to the root word of this, there's a Greek 58, go to the root word, right? Greek 58, agora. This is the same word that's in Revelation 12 and 10, where it speaks about the word accuser. It's the same, it goes back to the same um, Greek uh, 58, uh, Agara. Strong's G58. Agara. Agara. Okay, a place of assembly for public debating. So you're going to have where you're going to have these assemblies where they're going to be saying whether you can be able to buy and sell. Okay, for trials. Yeah, you're going to be put on trial and whether you can be able to buy a water or not. And if you don't comply with their mandates or you don't have the social credit score, or if you don't have the carbon emissions, you're not going to be able to what? Buying and selling. In the marketplace, so all these stores that you see around you, they're going to be closed, and they're going to have certain spots, basically chipping centers, where where they're going to have people, uh, um, you know, going to. Okay, so that's the buying of it, right? And we see that happening. If it, when people, when you uh, pull out cash, people look at you crazy. Okay, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, if he had the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name. So that that number. Uh, of that 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 man, which is Esau Edom, which is a nation of, of these Edomites, okay, the so-called white man is what six six six. Here is wisdom. So the Lord's given us wisdom through what John the Revelator uh, writing this on the island of Patmos, right? Revelation thirteen eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him at understanding count the number of the beast, for the number of a man and his number six hundred three score six. Okay, so when you go into three score or chi psi sigma. Or when you go into 600, right? So you go right here to the Greek 5516. Strong's G 5516. Chi, Xi, Stigma. Chi, Xi, Stigma. Okay. And if you look up this word Psi, okay, the, the, the letters in the middle, okay, it goes back to, you know, X. Okay, it goes back to when you look it up on Google, it goes back to the they're saying that, that they are the Messiah. Okay. So going down and then you go to the root word because it doesn't really say too much right there. But when you go to the root word of it, okay, and this is what the apostles have taught us. That's why you have to have sound teachers. They taught us to go into these words. Because when you go into the words, which is the entomology or the human uh, hermeneutics of the of the words. Okay, they make more sense. It, it's more clear. Okay, again, you have to search for the truth, right? Strong's G forty seven forty two, stigma, stigma. Okay, stigma, right? A mark pricked or branded upon the body, to ancient Oriental usage. Again, I just spoke about Egypt, how they had the Egyptian branding, but Daniel twelve and four, knowledge has increased, right? Slaves and soldiers, yeah, they don't want a nation full of thinkers. They want a nation, even uh, Rockefeller said that. They don't want a nation full of thinkers. They want a nation full of uh, workers, slaves, okay? Usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name of the stamp of their master, right? Badge of servitude of their master or commander, branded, okay? Branded, right? Cut into their bodies to indicate what general they belong to, okay? And that's the same thing they're doing right now. Nothing is new under the sun. Okay, branded or pricked, cut into the bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. Okay, so if you take it, that's what that's what, who you belong to, which means that you are going to be caught up in the lake of fire. You will have no rest day nor night. That's why the Lord has given us the wisdom to the servants, the prophets, the true men of the Lord. Okay, 
Revelation 13, 18. Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast. For the number of a man, his number is 666. And you see it all around. Biden, Harris, when you look at the red, those three lines, that's also going into um, them anointing themselves on, on the left-hand side, as far as that, that they are the Messiah, when they're nothing but a, a deceiving. When you go to Revelation 14 and 9, I'm going to end right in here. Revelation 14 and 9. Right. Because I got to bounce out. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, which the beast is the revival of the Roman Empire, America spearheaded in charge and the NATO joined unto it. Right. And his image. So you, you, you're following his 2030 agenda. You're following his white pale face image. You're following his false doctrine. Receive his mark, that physical, that stigma. And better side, your hand or your forehead in his or sakya, receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Mosai. So what's that wine of the wrath of the Mosai? That's going to be those ICBM missiles, which is poured out without mixture. So it's going to be a straight shot into the cup of indignation. Yeah, the righteous anger, because the Lord warned you over and over again about uh, this device. Right. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the lamb. Yes. Yeah, so the presence of what you shot and the smoke of the torment ascended up for for forever and ever so a period of time and there have no rest day yeah you will have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whoever received the mark of his name here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of our power in the faith of yahweh shai okay our faith is in yahweh shai not in no no white pale face serapis christi or shizur borgir our faith is in yahweh shai because we know uh what the um what is at stake? <laughs> and what is at stake? Your salvation if you follow this devil. Okay. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. In yeah, the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, stability goes into faith. And the strength of salvation, our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai is his treasure. So with that, call Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakodah, Shalom to the elect, Kwam Yashalom.